Everybody wants to know how to light the charcoal the right way. We'll let the experts show you how to do it today. So last week, I went down to visit my friends in the Keys for a barbecue. I get there, the first thing he does is pull out this bottle of lighter fluid and lights his coals. What are you doing, man? He said, well, how do you do it? I said, come on, there's so many different ways to light your charcoal. You know what he said to me? He said, okay, Mr. Barbecue Video Guy, why don't you make a video about it? So guess what? That's what we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you a bunch of different ways to light your charcoal with no lighter fluid, no chemicals, okay? Just light it with fire, that's all we want. Let's get started. Like I said, we wanna show you some different ways to show you how to light your charcoal without lighter fluid. There's a number of different ways. Here we've got a chimney, here we've got a torch, we've got some fire starters, we have electric starters here, we've even got a regular old lighter. So we're gonna go through all the different ways to do this today and show you each different way to use it on your grill, how you want to light it on a Kamado, for a hot fire, for a low and slow. We're gonna cover everything for you. So let's go ahead and get started with our first method. Now the first method we're going to talk about here is something you're going to have right around the house. No problem, you already have it there. We're going to start with a paper towel and some cooking oil. Very simple. All you're going to do is take your piece of paper towel, wad it up like this, cover it in some oil. So let me pour some oil on this and show you where we go from there. So we've got our paper towel. It's filled with oil. Now all we do is make a little spot in our charcoal and just set it right in there. And you can do this on any kind of grill, okay? Just set it in there like that and light it on fire, just like this. And you want it to be able to breathe, so you can put a, piece, a couple pieces like this, put some across it like this. And just like that, we got fire going. It can do it on any type of grill. Doesn't have to be a Kamado style grill. Doesn't have to be a big green egg. You can use it on any type of grill, on any type of charcoal that you're using. No lighter fluid. Whew. Next for me is what I consider to be the simplest way. These are fire starters. We make them here at Fogo Charcoal. They're super simple, $6.99 for a box, something like that. Um, they're really easy. All you do, you place them right down on top of your charcoal and light it. That's it. Let me show you how this is done. Now with this one, if you want to, you can do the same thing. Put some charcoal over it, make a little hut, get some air underneath it and get some coals burning. You really don't have to. You can just leave it right in the center like that and it's gonna start a beautiful fire on its own. Whatever you choose, it's up to you. So with charcoal on top or not, you're still gonna get a beautiful fire going. All right, the next method I want to show you is pretty simple also. Doesn't require any starters, doesn't require any lighters, doesn't require anything. It's its own little torch. Oh. Now this baby runs off of propane. So we sell the torch here. You can order it on our website right here. And you got to buy the propane separately at Home Depot. It lasts quite a while, it works pretty well, but it's really simple to use. You're not using anything else. So let me show you how this one works. The nice part is you can leave it sitting here just like this and do it. It does create some sparks though because you're really forcing that fire into the charcoal. So if you can turn it down a little bit, turn the knob down just a little bit, you're still going to do it and create less sparks. But you can leave it be. Then you just shut your fire off right here. Takes the flame away and now you got a fire going. Now I'm going to show you how to use one. This is kind of cool. It's called a chimney starter. Now what you do is you fill it up with charcoal. Okay, it's got plenty of charcoal in it. You set it on a grate or set it down. You crumple up some newspaper, whatever you have underneath it, light it, and it brings it up. We're going to show you how that one works now. Let's get this one started. Now the way that the chimney works is you're lighting fire underneath the coals so it gets the bottom ones going really nice and hot and it brings the heat up really quickly and it's a really fast way to light your coals. So they're about 15, 20 bucks at Home Depot or your local grill store or something like that. Kind of a good way to get your charcoal going. So we're gonna let this choke and then I'm gonna show you the fun part about using a charcoal chimney.
Uh, we also have this. This is an electric starter. It's kind of interesting. This one's made by Big Green Egg. There's, you can buy them at Home Depot, any grill store, really. It's electric. So what you do is you pour your charcoal in. You just kind of bury this into the charcoal a little bit and plug it in. Problem is, if you don't have an electrical outlet where your grill is, which many people don't, it's kind of useless. So I'm not going to go into showing you how to use this one. If you have an electrical outlet near your uh, grill, it's a good way to go, too. Again, these work on any grills. It doesn't have to be an egg or a Kamado. It could be on any grills. All right, now, last but not least, we're going to show you how the best way to light a big green egg Kamado grill if you're going to be doing a low and slow cook. We're going to combine a couple different things that you've seen today. We're going to use some fire starters. We're going to use the blazer ball. We're going to combine them up. We're going to put it in. We're going to pour the charcoal on top of the burning fire this time. Do it a little bit differently. Let me show you how it's done. So all we do is we put a couple of these here fire starters inside of our blazer ball. We're going to cap it just like that. And this is going to lay inside the bottom of the Kamado. We got the blazer ball in there. We can light it one of two different ways. We can use our torch or our lighter. I've got the torch, so that's my preferred way of doing it. So that's what I'm going to do. And then you pour your charcoal right on top. All right, so hopefully you learned something good. Now, for me, grilling is all about being a family affair. So guess what? Meet my father. Say hi, Dad. Hey, Dad. Ah, see, he's just like, you know where I get it from now, too, don't you? So anyway, I hope that you learned something today. I hope you've uh, picked up some new tricks on how to light your charcoal. Either way, have fun doing it. Enjoy your family. Don't forget, subscribe, ring the bell, get notifications whenever we put out a new video. And most of all, get out and grill and have some fun. And we'll see you next time on The Fogo Life. Arrivederci.